Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have another Amazon wig for you, another budget wig review. This is a blonde wig from Kui, K-O-U-W-I. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep her. The rooting is pretty dark on her. It's a number four, so it's really almost a black. She does have some nice waves to her. And very soft. Oh, I left the tags on because I'm really not sure. This one has another one of those uh, natural skin parts, but it actually seems pretty well done. It really does look like hair coming out of your scalp. And you could always add a little concealer there to make it look more natural, I guess, more of your natural color. Let's take a look at her cap. So, well, there is actually a small velvet strip here. And then you have some rose lace fabric where the uh, natural skin part is. And you have some wefting on the sides. It does have some combs, one comb here and one comb here to, if you do have natural hair, to help secure it. And actually do have some soft fabric here for the ear tabs. There's no, um, no metal in here and there's no hole for your glasses. And there is a small velvet strip right here in the nape area and it does have those hook adjusters and these are not as um, secure I guess as the blonde ombre wig uh, that I had gotten from Amazon because the hook kind of curled back under and so that helps keep it in there. So we're going to get her situated here with the putting those hooks in. Once you figure out what your size is going to be, then I would recommend sewing those hooks in place. So the wig I'm wearing now is, uh, it's actually a hairband wig by Wig Shop, uh, sold on the Paula Young website. And this is Sylvie in 1426A. Loving her length and her curls <laughs> and having a lot of fun with her. So let's try this one on. She did come in a plastic bag and uh, with some netting around her and some tissue paper on the inside. And I thought we were going to have some box hair with uh, the bangs, but they seem to be okay. But I haven't tried her on yet, so let's see. Okay, I put her on too loose, I think. Not too bad. The bangs would definitely need a trim. I'm going to tighten the cap a little bit more. So I'm 21 and 3 quarter inch head circumference. And so this is a little bit larger than I'm used to. But I still, you know, I still have room to move them in further if I have, if I need to. There, that's better. Well, she's not bad at all. The bangs seem uh, lighter than the blonde ombre wig, which is a good thing. I'm feeling a weft right there. I don't know if that's going to show. There we go. 
<laughs> it's kind of cute. I think you just need to make sure you have um, dark eyebrows to match the rooting or close to the rooting. I love the length on her. I love these um, beachy waves. She has good movement. She is lighter than the blonde ombre wig. Here's another close up of her hairline. Well, I think I might be keeping her. Very cute. I think uh, if you were going to pull her back, you'd have to be careful. The edge of the cap is right here. The one thing we didn't do with her is shake her. So I think I will be keeping this one. <laughs> and it does not really, she might have a tiny bit of permatees. It doesn't feel like there's a whole heck of a lot here, but we'll see if we can and I wake up those fibers. A little bit of shedding, not bad at all. Okay, let's give this another try. Oh, see one of my hooks came unhooked. Does not take much. So that definitely gave her some more fullness. Wow, she's really cute. I'm gonna trim her bangs. I can leave a link down below to other trim bang trims that I've done, <laughs> but I don't wanna bore you with that today. So I will show you the results. Okay, definitely an improvement. Um, they may need to be a little bit shorter but first I want to thin the bangs and I'll show you how I do that. The blonde ombre wig, I think I need to thin those bangs as well. What I'm finding is as I'm wearing her, as you know, I don't have any eyebrows. So I have maybe three hairs <laughs> in each eyebrow. And so what I find is just the friction of the bangs you know, moving back and forth. They're rubbing off my eyebrows basically or just smudging them and it just looks like a big mess by the end of my shift at work or at the end of the day, whatever. <laughs> so not the look I'm going for, but I'm hoping that by thinning them, it'll, you know, reduce the density right there at the brow line and um, reduce that problem. Okay, so we have her on the wig head and I am going to just take like the top layer of the bangs and pin those back. So just like with thinning other wigs, you're keeping a layer to add back over the area that you've thinned. So we're just going to clip that back. Whoop, slippery hair.
Okay. <laughs> so first I'm just gonna thin from about an inch from the hairline and thin it down that way. So if, if you've seen me do it with the curly wigs, you can see that with the straight hair, so much easier. <laughs> Have some stragglers here that didn't come out. I actually see some hairs that I didn't trim when I was cutting them. And I think I may just trim the ends here. Just to get those thinned out. So just gonna go maybe about an inch from the bottom of the bangs just to taper them a little bit. And again, this is gonna be like wearing it around the house, making sure everything is the way I want it before I wear it out. So I'm not worried about it, not fussing with it the whole time. Okay, let's try her on. Okay, so that hook came undone again. So definitely going to have to solve that issue before you don't want that hanging down. Oh, yeah. So much better. I definitely got to do this with the um, some little hairs the blonde ombre wig and I may still need to shorten these bangs a little bit so I do like I mean I like the cover <laughs> my forehead my wrinkles but um I do want some of my eyebrows showing a little bit more nice so I think I paid like just under $19 for this one because there was a digital coupon at the time so really great price and um, for really a nice looking wig it's lightweight that made a big difference so let's see if we can maybe pull her back I did notice that you know the edge of the wig is right there so you don't want to want to leave this hair here if you are pulling her back wasn't sure about the dark roots but they're growing on me <laughs> So, could easily pull her back a bit. Make sure there's no weft showing. I'm not sure if there is there. I don't think so. And, could always do a headband. This is a square headband. I have like three of them, I think, in colors. We have different colors, different styles. 
some with bling, some just plain like this one. Very nice. So, or I think $18.99 is what I paid for this one with the coupon. Can't beat it. You really can't. <laughs> it has good movement. So just a little bit of tweaking. Remember, so those little hook things in the back, because it's no matter what I was doing today, they were coming undone. But that's an easy fix. You could just got to tack them back there. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I know a lot of you are looking for budget wigs and uh, lower price wigs, especially nowadays. Um, it's very helpful if you can buy a wig at this price versus, you know, 100, 200, however much dollars you spend on wigs. But, and you know, the, the length, the life of a wig is not that long, really. So the less you can pay for a wig, then the better off you'll be. Thanks for joining me today. Please let me know if you've tried this wig, if you have any other suggestions on tweaking your Amazon wigs. <laughs> they are getting better. You got to be careful, but they are getting better. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you the next time. Bye.